closure of a dream solo is it's very you know it sticks to bluesy stuff mainly it's one of marty's most bluesy solos but you know it's i find it one of the most technically demanding ones just because you know just because first of all because of the speed of it and because he, he's somehow able to you know integrate weird shapes in something that's supposed to be typical blues the solo starts off with Marty playing a, a G, bending to a G from the B string while playing G on the high E string. You know, you sort of just have to sort of, you know, brush. Or you could also use the pick. You know, just to sort of. Uh, give emphasis to that G note and then you play a B me B uh, sorry a, a B note a major third and then and then go back up here to the B string He does this with a little slide outside and then and then that's how he plays it he plays it last uh, the, the 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 what note is that the d here on the B string, but me, I, I, I have to play it here because it's just too difficult for me to play. See, I couldn't even play it properly. So I play it here. But you know, I, I guess it's better, you know, if you want to give it a little bit of, you know, attitude, which mine sort of like. And then, and then this next run, you do it pretty much as fast as you can. Your focus is on uh, making this the this bend to G later on. But the notes are. And then skip the B string, and then go back here. So it's. And then as you bend, as you bend to B, you also hook with your ring finger the G string. And then as you go as you release the bend, you strike the G string. And then Uh, th those little notes I guess they're not that important but that's that's how that's how the tabs that I used uh, showed show that part being done you could play or and then there's a D minor arpeggio starting from from A so that's This downward part, which was the first thing that I actually learned from this solo, and I thought, you know, I thought it was pretty impressive, you know, just the choice of notes and you know the way it comes in. It sounds difficult, but it's actually the easiest thing of this solo. So he just goes down 
it's a it's a G blue scale with I'm not sure what counts there, but there's this note an F sharp. Then he goes down here bending, bending from a G note on the D string. And you know, you're bending downwards, which is kind of difficult for, you know, for one of the thicker strings. But your aim is to get the note A, but luckily you're going to be sliding to the, to the A note anyway. So you're actually playing pentatonic notes here. A, C, D, E, G. G bending up to A. And then this is the last quick run. Uh, I find it's best to play this. Uh, starting with upstrokes. Yeah, just play the just play the strings with upstrokes, and then only a downstroke here, and then here. Yeah, just make sure that you start with an upstroke. It just makes things so much easier. Now, the way I play it, I noticed that I always add an extra note just because. I don't know I'm not maybe I'm not able to control myself or something, but what I do is and then that's supposed to be all there is, but I sort of add a note. As I release my my, my hand, I, I play just to be able to go. You know, it's it's hard to you know to uh to, to make a conscious effort to to, you know to not play this note but anyway it's barely barely a note so and then uh, this is all legato it's sort of similar to something he does in the architecture progression solo so he starts from a C and then moves that same shape to the G string So you know it, it's it's the same shape of you know the finger, and then it goes up from here, from here this time from from E, and then uh, he moves up to the 14th fret, and then that same shape, 14th, 15th, and 17th fret, he plays that on the E string before ending on a D note. Yeah, this guitar, this guitar doesn't have much sustain. So this thing, you could actually play starting from the 15th fret here on the A string, then move to the 14th fret. That way you don't have to make a quick jump like you have to do here. No, you just go up the scale. But, well, actually, e even this thing. Yeah, you could move it here. Just find the corresponding notes. And then. But, I believe Marty does it here still. 